Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be discussing a specific piercing of mine and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail I'm sure you already know what piercing I'm talking about and yes that is going to be all about my belly button piercing. I remember it, it was a while ago but it was like a time period where I was taking out quite a few of my piercings like I took out my eyebrow and then I took out my Monroe piercing and a lot of people were concerned that I was changing and that I wasn't staying true to myself and I made a promise how I wasn't going to be taking out any more piercings. Now I did not permanently take out my belly button piercing but I have not been wearing my belly button piercing full time anymore. Usually I would always 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 have something in my belly button piercing and some kind of jewelry and the last like three two, three, four months, I have not been wearing anything in my belly button ring or my belly button piercing, I should say. And we're gonna kind of discuss why I made that decision, like the pros and the cons and all that, but I don't really wear my belly button piercing anymore and I don't really consider myself having one anymore. Now, I got my belly button pierced back in 2011. So I think I've had my belly button pierced for about 11, 12 years, I think 11 years. And belly button piercings in general are very finicky. They, they're very hard to heal. They're very complex piercings. They are surface piercings and surface piercings out of any other piercing on the planet are just very finicky. You know, they can give you they can give you a hard time. Just very difficult piercings. I remember when I did get my belly button pierced back in 2011, I remember having a very, very hard time with it. If I remember correctly, it took me a year and two months to officially heal my belly button piercing. I don't know what it was about it, but it was incredibly painful to get done. It was incredible, incredibly painful and finicky to get to heal correctly. I never had any issues with like rejection or migration. I only ever got it pierced once and uh, just kept it for this long but it was just a very it was a very time consuming very stressful time getting that piercing and I always vowed that you know this is like the first and the last time I'll ever do this like this is such a nightmare blah 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 and it really has been uh, finally after it did like officially heal and whatnot you know everything was fine everything was great I had zero issues with it no infections no rejection or anything like that I could wear whatever I wanted in it and everything was fine basically as the years go on when you have a piercing especially a belly button piercing over time your body goes through changes now I'm not saying this is the case for everybody not everybody's piercing has this happen some people get their belly button pierced once and they still have it and nothing's changed about it 30 years later that's totally fine but but for me, this is just my experience and my story. Every human body is different. Everyone has different experiences. So for me personally, my body went through a lot of changes and therefore my piercing, my belly button piercing changed with it. Now I am someone, I am a huge stomach sleeper and I am also someone who wore dangly belly button jewelry a lot of the times after it was healed. Like I loved wearing like heavy dangly belly button jewelry. I just thought it looked really sexy and really cute. So that's what I always wore in it. Now over time, when you have something pierced in an area that's not normally supposed to be pierced, over times it starts to migrate. And also I got my belly button pierced in 2011. I believe I was, I believe I was 17. 17, 18, something like that. So I was still relatively young. And over the course of the last, what, 11 years, over the course of that time, you know, I've gained weight, I've lost weight, I've gained muscle tone, I've lost muscle tone. And you know, all that in that area begins to change. And I noticed throughout the years that my piercing was starting to migrate more towards the surface. Now, there's a difference between rejection and migration. Rejection is a lot of a, a lot more of a quicker process. I'm not a professional, so don't like quote me on any of this, but in my opinion, and from what I've seen, rejection is a lot quicker. You know, you get something and within a few months, it your body completely pushes it out. Whereas in my opinion, migration it happens a lot slower, you know, so it'll start in one place and then over time it'll start to you know, move. And I noticed that's what was happening with my belly button piercing. Now for a while I just ignored it. I was like, oh, this is normal, no big deal. And over the last like year, I'd say, 
I was really starting to not like my belly button piercing. I was starting to think it looked kind of stupid because I can't wear normal size, regular size belly button rings in my belly button piercing without looking stupid because the skin had gotten so thin that it just looked like this huge long bar. It almost looked like I was wearing a pregnancy belly bar. You know what I mean? It just didn't look good. And I just, I noticed that my piercing was just starting to move closer and closer toward the front. Um, and it just, it wasn't looking good. And it was getting to the point where like I would be wearing a belly button ring and as I'm walking around my house, I can feel it moving. And I'm like, this has never happened before. Like, this is weird. And then, you know, I would like look at it and I could see where like the old scar was and how it's moved. Now it, my belly looks fine. Like I'll show you. My belly looks fine. Like there's no rejection or anything, but you know, when I first got it pierced, there was a lot more skin in between the two holes, you know what I mean? And over time, it just started to like get smaller and smaller. So this is what my belly currently looks like without a ring in it. I have not put a belly ring in in probably about four months. I have no idea if it's even open anymore. We will find that out in a second. So we're gonna see if it's open, first of all, and then I'm going to show you what I mean, how normal size belly jewelry just doesn't look good in there anymore because the skin is just so thin. Like you can see, like that's so thin. And when I first got it done, like there was a decent amount of skin in between the two bars and over time my body was just like you know from sleeping on my stomach to whatever it just started to naturally just thin out and then this is a normal sander standard size belly button ring belly jewelry and oh i'm sorry i had to run down the stairs to grab a step stool <laughs> so you guys could get like a good angle and now i'm like really out of breath because i literally ran <sighs> up and down my stairs okay and like I said, I don't even know if this is open anymore or not because I haven't put anything in it for so long. So we're just going to see if it's even open. Okay, it's like just barely open. I was able to get it in just barely. I thought I thought it was fully closed up for a minute. But yeah, you can see like how stupid this looks. Now, when I first got my belly button pierced, the original hole was down lower. And I don't know if you can even see the scar tissue of like where it used to be to where it is now. It has moved kind of up and out quite a bit. The skin is just like, it's just way too thin. So usually like when I do wear my belly button piercing, I have to wear rook earrings, the earrings that you would wear in a rook piercing, like really tiny little itty bitty things are what I have to wear in my belly button piercing to make it look somewhat normal. Other than that, it doesn't really look normal. Even when I do wear these, they're still just, see what I mean? They're still really long and it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't look cute anymore. I don't, I don't like it. It gets caught on things all the time now. See how thin that skin is between the two? It never used to be like that. It Now the question I know I'm probably going to get is why don't you just get it re-pierced? Are you going to get it re-pierced? And the answer to that question is I truly honestly don't know because I had such a rough experience the first time around and it was incredibly painful for me. Even still to this day, 11, 12 years later, I still remember the pain of getting my belly button pierced. It was not a good time. Um, so I honestly don't know if I could actually go and get it re-pierced again. I have both my nipples pierced and I think I'd rather do that again than get my belly button pierced. Like, as of right now, if I, I leave it out and if it closes, it closes. I, I don't want to say I took it out officially because I, I almost feel like bad saying that because I don't really want that for myself. And it feels weird for me to be like, yeah, I officially took it out. No, I didn't officially take it out. I've just had it out for a few months now 
because I'm just so afraid that it's it's so loose there now that I'm afraid it's gonna get caught on something and just completely rip my skin off. I haven't like officially taken it out, but it is out for right now. So if you guys were to see like pictures of me this summer or whatever, and you notice I don't have my belly button piercing in, that is why, and I'm making this whole video because I know I would eventually get questions. So I just wanted to make a whole video talking about that and showing you guys like, what the state of my piercing is, what it looks like, if I can even fit a ring in there anymore, which you guys saw, I barely can, and just how they look in me. They don't look good. The skin is just like, wee, like only a couple mil millimeters in between. Let me know if any of you guys have had the same experience with yours. Did you notice yours starting to thin out over the years? Did yours stay the same? Let me know your experience down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was honestly probably kind of pointless and probably could have been said in a tweet, but you know me, I just, I wanna sit down and I don't wanna record videos for you guys and piercing content is my jam. That's what we did today. Oh my God, like, this is ridiculous. Like, let me show you guys. Do you see how thin that is? And this bar is only eight millimeters and that's how much sticks out at the top. So that's been my personal experience with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down, give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and hit that red subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. I do upload every three to four days here. But as the rest of you, that is all that I have today. Just something quick, short, and sweet. I love you all very much and I will see you all very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.